What is occurring in Africa today is this, and I have been, I spent over 25 years in looking at Africa, visiting Africa, studying what the conditions are, and I see that the one thing that stands out, not only with the African, but primarily the African, the African doesn't know the food of his fathers. It is said, and we have read and heard, honor thy mother and thy father, that thy days may be long upon the land. Well, when we listened to that, this Mexican told me, those words are true. But the elephant doesn't need to be told that because he followed his mother and see what she eat. But an African or the black race today, general, the black race in general, we don't know what our mothers and fathers ate in the forests of Africa. We don't even have the slightest clue. But what I did know and what I know now is that the African didn't eat rice. They didn't eat beans. They didn't need any yams or cassava. These things were not consumed by the African. They didn't have hogs. They didn't have chickens. They didn't have goats, lambs, or cows. The food that we find the African eating today, not only it is deteriorating his body to a very accelerated rate, but his brain power is completely gone. So why? Because the food that the Africans are eating today, opposed to the food that he was eating hundreds of years ago, the difference is the food of 500 years prior were all alkaline. It was the food that God made. The African only ate what God made. But when the religions came to Africa, such as the Muslims and the Christians. They brought their goods, but their goods was blood and starch. So now the Africans, whether you are a Muslim or whether you are a Christian, you are eating blood and starch without even knowing the detrimental of consuming or the detriment of consuming these things. There is such thing as food gene consistency but the black man of America doesn't know these things, not the black man of the world. So, yeah. so when I presented my argument that whatever we're being fed through the American Medical Association or any other association is directly in opposition to our cellular predisposition. The FDA cannot, under any circumstances, be the director or the controller of the diet of black people because the FDA has no idea as to the food that is consistent with us. That was the question that brought the court to my attention. When the FDA made the statement that I should not sell my products, the judge asked me, what is your response? I said, well, the FDA is 100% right, providing they know the food that is consistent with our cellular predisposition. The judge said, what is that? I said, for break it down, it means this. When you remove the black man from Africa, did you bring his food with him? They said, no. I said, thank you very much. Meaning that the white race is in direct violation of the genetic structure of the black race. Yet we believe that by reading a million books and having a thousand degrees, that everything is a-okay. No, it's not. Because the one thing that we should have known and maintained was the substance that kept our family, our ancestors in Africa as healthy as they was found. We are not that healthy today. We have lost the connection with Africa. We don't know how to get back home. And I'm not talking about on a ship. We're talking about psychologically. We're talking about knowing those substance, those things that we're eating that we would be healthier because today, black America is sick. Black America is very sick.